Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy MoPTD here back with another video on the channel and today guys we're going to be reviewing a tournament game. So recently Simba played in this tournament and he's going against a well-known opponent, uh, H. Spartle. And if you don't know who H. Spartle is, he's also a really good dart player. So we got two good dart players facing off in my tournament. This was like um, a couple days ago, but by the time you see this it'll be a while from now since I'm uh, pre-recording some videos so I don't have to record when I'm in school so I could focus on that. Anyways, I'm gonna speed it up uh, until the more exciting parts, like um, probably slow it down like round 10, 11-ish. And we can see what they do different here. They're pretty even right now, but as you can see from the pause, uh, H. Spartle's going 270 eco while Simba's going way higher eco. And Simba has the 01 farm, I mean uh, H. Spartle has the 01 farm on Simba so far and sim is going to send more greens here forces the o2 from spartle and i'll spartle's going to upgrade to another trip and not buy this bolt which is an interesting play i would definitely say buy this bolt round seven is a better play but h spartle this is one of h spartle's best maps so he probably knows what to do best simba go goes ahead and buys his bolt this is the best bolt spot because uh, it shoots straight down here and when you put on first it can shoot straight down this line as well meaning that for moabs it, the ceramics pop like around here so on first, it's really good over on first, down this line. Anyways, H. Bartle buys the jug uh, near his farm spot. And the the thing is, on this map, spolts are not good at all. So you got to triple dart spam instead of spolts or use an ODS, which is a bit of a different play than other maps. But anyways, 412 eco from Simba and 352 eco from Spartle. And Simba's going to go with the small rush of blacks and whites. And he doesn't really force anything, and H-Bottle is going to counter with more balloon boosted whites. As you can see, both of them are trip dart spamming like crazy. And the jug on first is really good, as you, as I said earlier, it shoots straight down that line. And he has, Simba has four trips right now, and H-Bottle is going to boost around 16. You pretty much have to boost around 16 on this map, if unless you want to get an ODS, which is the uh, way over defend. So, as you can see, Simba Bloom boosts a rerush and forces the ODS around 17 ODS. So a lot of people say around 17 ODS is not that good for you, but I mean whatever keeps you alive, I guess. And you're supposed to do what Simba does here with the double jug, but it looks like um I mean the ODS you can pu you can punish less because the ODS is so solid on this map, and the two jugs are are uh, way more punishable with leads and region leads blend with AI. So Simba's gonna send more whites over top the leads to try to get some layering. Spiral does the same but backs off his rush. He's gonna continue to rush now. As you can see, Simba has 730 eco, Spartle has 751. A Republic's pretty much the same price as I mean worth the same amount as like two Repub uh two plantations. So as you can see they're pretty equal. Uh Spartle's gonna opt for a balloon boosted rush here and it doesn't really force much so let's get it back on uh one speed and as you can see round 21 spartle is actually up 50 he's up like 150 eco uh give or take on simba simba's down to 20 lives spartle's down to 78 so spartle's in a really good spot right now and simba goes for around 21 factory but spartle can match this soon they each sell for these sell for 2500 so 5000 like 7500 he can almost afford to go for his uh factory at the moment and his ods the ods on this map is really really good as you can see spar does a little bit of ace micro and gets his um he actually gets his factory like two rounds later than simba and simba boosts but he recuperates a little bit of the eco um on round 23 he's gonna sell that farm i don't know why probably just a misclick and he's fine by now so both of them have an ods down but simba has an extra jug for round 24 round 25 and as you can see, he's down 110 eco, but he's out farming by a lot. So he's up a whole, like a whole plantation on Spartle, essentially almost more, almost two plantations up on Spartle. And it's coming down to the wire now. Uh, these these ceramic rounds are more just like boost, boosting rounds. There's not much that happens there, and they just boost to greed for their factories. Round 23 is actually an awfully long round. Um, uh for ai so it's good to greed for a factory there if you can all right as you can see their ods both shred both of them buy a second jug simba has one less triple dart down and he goes for his next factory while selling the jug so why he does this is because round 25 you're going to boost anyways to the um ceramics so there's no need for the second jug at that point if you're just going to boost both of them boost as i said and simba's kind of catching up nico but that's not his main focus right now i think his main focus is to completely uh farm on here as you can see he's still up in farms and in money so 
he's gonna get his next factory way before Spartle even has a chance to. Um, and there you go. So round 27, you usually sell everything but your jug. But since it's Swamp, I guess Simba is keeping the ODS down. I'm not quite sure the reason for this, but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. As you can see, he sells the ODS and the Fan Club. The Fan Club's pretty uh, satisfying on this map because all the darts shoot right here. As you can see, it's really satisfying. And at 10 minutes, I'll put it on times one speed. But for now, they're just rebuying and buying their Fan Club. Uh, rebuying and, yeah, farming on from their Fan Club. So there's nothing much that happens here but it gets really intense at the end of this game um so as you can see fan club once again I'm, i think so you want to buy o2s uh mean for the pierce so as you can see that's why simba has a lot of o2s down and a fan club obviously some of his has ca have camel detection um and others don't and there we go okay so now we're getting down to the wire we're going to start sending now so let's get it on times one speed so they both buy their specter on 31 standard plays from both of them four fan clubs is a max fan club and usually you get like two specters down but uh sometimes i don't know if it's worth it to get uh two specters down because as you can see look both of them don't really have enough money for two specters spiral is going to send two zmgs while simba starts sending his first one and the first fan club comes out from simba along with uh, h spartle fan clubbing as well so simba still has the jug on the map i mean it doesn't really matter too much i guess he's wasting a little bit of money but it doesn't matter and the gz spots would be as you can see sparta left room right here to gz but he actually has the ace in this spot either that or it's battles tv lag or like weirdness anyways he actually sends a space rainbow here which is kind of funny because he misclicked it and sent a space rainbow as you can see simba is doing a great play of not gzing too early he's waiting until um m most of the gz's are on screen so when you wait for most of the gz's i mean the zmg's to be on screen with one gz you hit all four of these zmg's simba accidentally sends a ceramic as well and they're both going to full send here as you can see spartle gets that gz spot he already sells the factory simba sold one too i believe and they're going to start gzing now uh, Simba's on the left side, so if he's right-handed, then it's going to be a lot harder for him to win. But his GZ micro is looking solid. He's fan clubbing GZing, and m most pros, especially like people who've been playing Dart for a while, they don't let their fan club drop at all. I mean, they get maximum damage. But as you can see, Simba sells all of his bottom farms now. He's down to one, two, three, four farms, and uh, H Spartle is down to one, two, three farms left. So. Uh, it's definitely pretty even right now at the moment. Simba has more of his uh, ZMGs popped, whereas Spartle is taking his time. Now he sells another factory, down to two factories now. And Simba's trying to wait for the factory money here to get the GZ instead of selling another factory because obviously he gets to keep the factory, therefore giving him more money. And he's going to just keep GZing now. Spartle's down to his, still has two factories left, but this GZ's, this next GZ is going to force him to sell the next one. Both of them are barely, still have two factories around 35. So around 35 is usually when you want to start sending fast cooldown. But as you can see, since it's such a low farm game, they don't have a lot of money to send fast cooldown. So it's coming down to the nitty, nitty gritty here. Uh, what two factories for Simba left with one factory for Spartle? Okay, Simba sells his uh, last factory. I think he sells all his factories. Yeah, Simba has no more factories left, and Spartle still has no factories left as well. Four ZMGs on uh, Spartle's side compared to two ZMGs. Pretty much, if Simba defends this one ZMG, I think he wins. He sells his Spectre there, so that's a big mistake because the Ceramics are a big play here, and that's what the Spectres really clean up. As you can see, the Ceramics go straight through, and Simba's not able to pop these, and that's where he does go down. So, as you can see, Simba does lose to H Spartle on this map. I think Simba would have won that. He had 50,000, he had 33,000 to Spartle's 21,000. None of them had a fan club left, and this was just going to be straight GZ, but I think Spartle, unless he somehow clutched against this BFB, he would have lost. If he did clutch against his PFP, then he would have won, obviously, because the ZMG over here on Simba's screen is already, like, all the way over here for Spartle. So his ZMG is more, more farther back. So as long as he doesn't GZ this ZMG layer into BFPs, he should be fine. Anyways, thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one.